the most powerful thing in the cosmos that are not black holes. The largest rotating magnet ever lived. The magnetors. A magnetor is a type of neutron star with an ultra-strong magnetic field. The magnetic field is a thousand trillion times stronger than the Earth's. And between 100 and 1000 times stronger than that of a radio pulsar, making them the most magnetic objects ever exist. The first magnetor, SGR0525-66 was found in the year 1979, located about 163,000 light years from Earth in the Large Magellanic Cloud. They are formed in the same way as all neutron stars. Through the core collapse of a massive star in a supernova explosion. It is not entirely clear what conditions cause a magnetor to be created instead of an ordinary neutron star or pulsar, but, in order to achieve such strong magnetic fields, some theories suggest the neutron star must initially rotate between 100 and 1000 times per second. Magnetors are differentiated from other neutron stars by having even stronger magnetic fields and by rotating comparatively more quickly. Most neutron stars rotate once every 1 to 10 seconds, whereas magnetors rotate once in less than 1 second. A magnetor's magnetic field gives rise to very strong and characteristic bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. The active lifespan of a magnetor is short. Their strong magnetic fields decays after about 10,000 years, after which activity and strong X-ray emission comes to an end. The number of magnetors observable today, one estimate, puts the number of inactive magnetors in the Milky Way at 30 million or more. Neutron stars are formed when the largest stars in the universe reach the end of their lives. When these stars run out of fuel, their core collapses, causing outer layers to come crashing in towards the center. As stars are so large, the crushing forces created can be astonishing. These pressures can squash the core of the star together, and because of this, a neutron star forms and hence some of the most densest material in the known universe, the magnetors are formed. In fact, their material is so dense that one teaspoon of it contains the same amount of mass as 900 Egyptian pyramids. In a magnetor, with its huge magnetic field, it causes the neutron star to release a vast amount of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. A magnetor called SGR1806-20 had a burst where in one-tenth of a second, it released more energy than the sun has emitted in the last 150,000 years. You might find some relief in the fact that most magnetors can't finish their lifespan of 10,000 years. Their short lifespan ends with them becoming neutron stars. But, they are still dense and still magnetic, but not nearly as dangerous as a magnetor. So yeah. You can live your life until the sun becomes a magnetor and turn your atoms into dust. <laughs>